What's going on, Matrix Motivation? Mr. Matrix here with the wife. <laughs> Hi, this is Matrix. <laughs> She's over there. We're about to put this food together to make a barbecue. I'm cleaning up. It's a it's a cluster freak, you know what I mean? That's what they say. <laughs> it's like everything is everywhere, you know what I mean? Um It's just like Sometimes that everything seems strenuous because you got so much stuff to do. You got this to do, you got that to do, you got this to do, you got that to do. Don't panic and frustrate yourself. I tell my wife this all the time. I start saying it. I said one stone at a time, one brick at a time. And this is how we build our house, one brick at a time. You know what I mean? Take your time out to build one brick at a time in your life. You take advantage of the opportunity to build one brick at, lay one brick for the foundation. You know what I mean? Um. I'm most definitely, I'm, I'm a believer uh, of, of God. I, I know God is supernatural. I'm a supernatural believer. I believe in, in everything that he can do. But I also know that everybody is not into the Lord. And I know a lot of people that are struggling right now to find out who they are, what they do. So why don't you start from the beginning? Center yourself on as much truth as possible. That's the most I can tell you because, you know, nobody is trying to convince you or run, into, uh, run up on you with a gun. Nobody can do this. So. Find out who you are. Find out what you want. Find out what you want to do. Find out who you love. Write it down on the paper. Find out the good. Say, write down the good stuff about you. Write down the bad stuff about you. You know what I mean? It might be a long list on either way because it depends on how you think about yourself. But also, get somebody, if you call them a friend, tell them to write a list and you write a list about them. You take turns back and forth so that you can work on the, the negatives and move them over to the positives and delete some things. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be honest, me and my wife, we, we used to collect a lot of stuff. We like becoming hoarders almost, man, because we just like a lot of stuff. <laughs> but so we had to start, uh, you know, separating these things away from our life and saying, look, we got to get rid of this. We got to get rid of that. We got to get it, this out and everything else. It doesn't mean that we don't like nice stuff because we have a lot of nice stuff. But sometimes you can have too much nice stuff and don't have room to enjoy it. You know, space is important. That's another thing I'll tell you. Find some space where you can wake up. Where you can have a a play a place to pray, where you can have a, a place to sit there and read your book, have a place where you can have peace. Put your little music on, cut your little cell phone on, whatever you do, cut your iPhone on, turn your computer on, and find that song that brings you peace. So you can have three to ten minutes of a relaxation of thoughts. So you can enjoy. Every time you get an opportunity, wake up and get air. You know what I mean? Go outside, enjoy the air. So it's raining outside, it's raining right now, but if it's making the trees and plants grow, don't you think it can help your mind? <laughs> That's just a, you know, just a way of looking at it, man. Mr. Mason's the future is now, man. You know what I mean? Just, you know, arbitrage, that's another thing too. Uh, arbitrage, when you're sitting there, um, you know, you're buying, going to stores and you're going to these uh, yard sales and you're buying stuff and reselling it, it can build up in your house. You know what I mean? So you have to have a place of space. Say it with me, a place of space. I need a place of space. <laughs> you know, find you a place of space and find some real friends that come over and can give you good advice on things that you can work on. But don't find them friends that just want to, you know, kick you down. Find a real friend that spends a lot of time with you or find a friend that you can spend time with. And if you don't have no friends, then make yourself, perfect yourself without no friends. You know, sometimes people be like, oh, I need somebody in my life and, uh, you know, or, you know, I have no self-esteem. But, you know, like Cat Williams said, yo, self-esteem is esteem of yourself. Don't let nobody break that down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mr. Matrix, Matrix Motivation. Website is coming soon. We're working on it. We got a lot of stuff working on right now. So please bear with us. You know what I mean? Most definitely we'll have a lot of brands out. Everything is coming. But, you know, we have to um, we have to move. As I told you, one break at a time, yo. Mr. 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 Motivation, keep your head up. Yo, the future is now.